Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce to you Bottle. Bottle is yet another Python web framework, but what's special about Bottle is it's probably the most micro of all the micro frameworks, meaning it doesn't do everything for you like something like Django would. Instead, it leaves you with the essentials. And that's usually enough to create simple sites because you won't always need all the power that something like Django can provide you or Flask with a bunch of extensions. Sometimes you just need something simple. And with simplicity comes easier deployment when you go to actually uh, deploy your app somewhere because there aren't any dependencies for Bottle so you don't have to worry about any problems when deploying and Bottle is actually in just one file so I have this one file open right now bottle.py and it's about 4,000 lines and it has no dependencies other than Python so as long as you have Python installed and it should work on pretty much any version of Python that you would actually want to use I mean, it's not gonna work on Python 2.1, but I don't think anyone's using 2.1. But if you're using like 2.7 or 3.4, you should be okay because uh, the bottle developers have supported the, the, the most used versions of Python. So in this video, I'm gonna create a very simple app just to get you started with bottle. And then of course, in later videos, I'll go over more complicated things. But since it is a micro, framework there's not much to go over uh, it's just mastering the few things that are in the framework so I have this bottle demo directory created it has bottle.py which is the file I just showed you and an app.py which is open and has nothing in it you can also install bottle using pip so pip install bottle but in this case I just want to use the bottle.py just to demonstrate how no dependencies means I just throw this one file in there and I have a working web framework. So to get started, I need to import from this bottle file. So from bottle, I'm going to import, import two things, run and route. So route is going to set up the endpoints that users can use to request uh, pages on your site. So uh, bottle would know to do something and it returns the response to them. And then run is simply going to run the server. So route is a decorator. So you need the at sign and then route. And then here you uh, specify the endpoint you want. In this example, I'm just gonna use the index. So slash, but whatever route you wanna use. So if you wanted to use something like hello or my route, you could do that and it's not case and sensitive so just keep that in mind it's a url so my route would be actually this and i hit the wrong button but anyway i'm just using the index and then i need to create a function underneath the decorator it's convention to name the function after whatever your endpoint is in this case, since I'm using the index, I can just name my function index. But of course, you can name it whatever you want because it doesn't actually get called by anything. Well, it could, but in an example like this, it's only being um, called directly by the, the decorator. Or the, the server knows to call the function uh, through the decorator. So after I have the index, I simply need to return some HTML. So I'm going to say, hello, world and that's it all right and then after that all I need to do is I'll put this if name equals main block it's not exactly necessary but I'm going to put it anyway just so I can run this from the console without any problems so run is going to start the server and the defaults are it's going to start it on localhost on port 8080. So that's it. This is pretty simple. Let me start it up. Okay, so it's telling me that it's listening on 127.0.01 port 8080. So I'll go there and I'll hit enter and I see hello world there. So that's all it took to set up a working web app. One, two, three, four, five, six lines. I could have omitted this uh, line seven so pretty much six lines of code to run a basic app and you see 
there's no dependencies I just have the bottle in the compiled bottle file um, and that's it so if I want to deploy this if I want to give it to someone so they could run it it'd be quick they just copy the files and they could run it they wouldn't have to install anything they wouldn't have to make sure uh, certain versions were installed they can just run it as it is which is a huge advantage when it comes to deployment so that's it for this video I will make more videos on bottle in the future probably starting tomorrow so I can get you up and running on creating the simple web apps that bottle is great for so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like my channel overall please subscribe and if you have any questions about this video, just leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section below. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time.